Oh, we are back again to talk about one of my favorite subjects, keywords. But what if you want to save just a little bit of time and not have to churn it out or troll about over in incognito mode in the Amazon marketplace? Well, there are definitely some great tools and resources, but what are the best keyword research tools for Amazon KDP? I'm going to talk more about that in today's video, so make sure you stick around. This is Self Publishing with Dale, where you learn to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable author brand. I would love to know if you use a keyword research tool, and if so, what's your preferred tool? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. The million dollar question, what is the best keyword research tool for Amazon KDP? Well, I'm going to share just a little bit of my opinion and what has worked for me as well as hundreds upon hundreds of other indie authors on the marketplace today. But why exactly would you use a keyword research tool? Well, it comes down to time versus money. I love to write. I would love to focus on the things that I love to do like writing. Keywords are fun and I can dork out about that and geek up a little bit, but you know, for the most part, if I can spend more time writing than keyword researching, then all the better. So that's where it comes into play in time versus money. I would rather spend a little bit more money on a keyword research tool versus invest more time in once again, churning and trolling about on Amazon Marketplace trying to find those ideal keywords. In this video though, I'm going to share some of the free options that are available to you that I've discussed in previous videos, but we're going to kind of touch on them just a little bit more. Keep in mind that when it comes to free keyword research tools, they come with a bit of a caveat and a little bit of a limitation because when you use these free tools, chances are likely they're going to grab all of the keywords and you're still going to have to sift through the pile and figure out what's going to work best for your title. Think of it kind of like panning for gold. If you're the type of person that likes panning for gold, then hey, all the more power to you. But if I can, I would much rather not waste my time. And this is not against anything in these free models and I do use them from time to time, but I would rather lean towards this next option I'm going to talk about, which is the premium models of keyword research tools. Sure, these premium models come at a cost, but with that cost, you get back some of your time, hopefully. And even if I don't share a premium research tool in this video, Maybe what you're going to want to do is as you're looking around and browsing the marketplace for a particular software that will help you out with keyword research, you'll kind of keep some of these things in mind because again, you'll want a good keyword research tool that is going to save you time. Sure, it's going to cost money, but ultimately it's about saving that time because that time can be better spent elsewhere. And listen. This is what I get quite a bit. Some people will go buy some software. They'll try it out for a week or two weeks and they're immediately asking for a refund. Folks, Amazon is not putting out a keyword research tool and the way I see it, they're not going to do it anytime soon because there's a little bit of a liability on their end. So they would rather allow third party companies to handle that. So with that being said, since they are third party companies that are putting out these keyword research tools, they are going to be some inherent flaws and occasional hiccups that occur because Amazon is forever changing things on their platform. They're forever split testing. They're adding categories. They're subtracting categories. They're changing the way you search. They're changing the way they display things. So if you grab some type of software, keep in mind that it's going to have problems every now and then. So when you purchase something from somebody on the marketplace for a keyword research tool, contact their support if you're starting to see some issues because chances are likely they probably are aware of it or they aren't aware of it and they're looking to fix it as soon as possible. Okay, so here are five of the best keyword research tools for Amazon KDP. Let's start it out with my preferred model and probably yours, Amazon Incognito Mode. I've shared this so many times before, if you've got a browser of some sort that you're normally shopping in, if you just go in and do keyword research without incognito mode, what ends up happening is you're going to be served keywords based on your browsing history and your buying history. And it becomes muddied. So essentially, as you're looking for keywords in essentially a naked browser, what happens 
is you're going to be served keywords that they're going to go, oh, the Amazon algorithm goes, here, you want this, right? No, no, you want this or you want this. Uh, that's why you need to go over into incognito mode. So based on your particular type of browser, you're going to want to probably Google this up. But for the most part, I use Chrome and anytime I'm in Chrome, all I need to do is press control shift and the letter N for new and it'll open up a black browser. And at that point, I'll go into the Amazon marketplace and do my keyword browsing and gathering. Google AdWords and trends. In one of my previous videos, I discussed a little bit about my love with Google AdWords Keyword Planner and Google Trends. Using them together is just a magic combination. It doesn't cost you a dime to use this. And what you're going to do is you're going to gather keywords that are being used in the world's largest online search engine of Google. And Google's a bit more sophisticated than Amazon's algorithm. So the nice thing is you're going to definitely pull some keywords that in some capacity is being used on Amazon or is going to be used in some time in the near future. And one of the nice ways to narrow down your list of keywords you scrape from the Google AdWords Keyword Planner is you take those keywords over to Google Trends, insert them in there and see which one draws the most traffic or you can even pay attention to the Keyword Planner's traffic and Either way, you're, you're going to be able to figure out what works for you right now and for your publication and nothing beats intuition. If you look at a keyword, you go, oh, it looks good. The search volume is awesome. I just plugged it into Amazon's search engine and this looks good here. So I'm not sure if this is going to be it. Go with your gut. See exactly how you feel and hopefully that will work for you. Keyword Tool Dominator. Keyword Tool Dominator actually covers a number of platforms everywhere from Google to I think Etsy uh, to any, any place that typically has a search engine. But for the most part, I utilize it simply for YouTube sometimes in this case, and in other cases for Amazon itself. They have a free model and a premium model. With the free model, you can actually get, I think, up to words of six searches or queries per day. So be very selective about what you do. And uh, for the premium model, it's unlimited. I actually talk a little bit more about Keyword Tool Dominator and my open thoughts about them. But for the most part, if you're looking for free or premium, you can go take a look at that video. I'm going to leave the link down in the description below for the review video and the actual product itself. Fair warning though, when it comes to Keyword Tool Dominator and using it on Amazon, it's going to look at the entire Amazon marketplace. It's not just isolating it down to the Kindle store or the bookstore. So you're going to, once again, like Google AdWords Keyword Planner, you're going to be scraping and pulling in these keywords you may or may not want to use. Publisher Rocket, formerly known as KDP Rocket. My boy Dave Chess and the Kindlepreneur put together one heck of a keyword research tool than Publisher Rocket and continues to grow by the day. Hear me out. I know it sounds like I'm a shill for the Publisher Rocket, but it's for good reason because this thing has saved me tons of time that I can spend once again watching cat videos or hanging out with my wife. So what Publisher Rocket does, it's, it's multifaceted, but we're just going to focus on the fact that it actually has two keywords features. One is going to look up keywords based on a specific root keyword that you feed to it. And the other one is AMS keywords, also known as Amazon advertising keywords. So you can actually scrape the Amazon marketplace for all relevant keywords to a re root keyword that you're looking up. And also underneath the keywords feature alone in Publisher Rocket, what it does is it details the number of competitors, average monthly earnings, average Google searches per month. Hey, remember Google? We were just talking about that. Average Amazon searches per month and rates the competition score based on a scale of zero to 100. Zero being no competition, 100 being so competitive, it's gonna be an all out fist fight. You know, a lot of people ask me, well, you know, where's my com competitive score is gonna be? It's going to be dependent on your you know, comfort level, the risk versus reward. I generally speaking like seeing keywords with a great search volume of on Google as well as on Amazon that's above 100 in search volume per month and a competitive score below 50. Despite all of Amazon's changes over the past couple of years of me having Publisher Rocket, one thing I've noticed with the Publisher Rocket team is they're always changing and addressing issues with it. And that right there means a lot to me. The support team has been stellar and Dave Cheston himself has been so public about sharing a lot of information. In fact, there's a good chance that some of the information I gave to you 
uh, you probably should know that I actually got it from Dave Chesson. Dave's a good guy. You should definitely take a look at his site at kindlepreneur.com or even take a look at his podcast at Book Marketing on iTunes. And right now, this is mid-February as I record this video, they are hard at work on version 2.0, which is going to start to support not just Kindle keywords, but it also is going to support print book keywords. So this is really cool. And the reason why they've gone through the full change from KDP Rocket to Publisher Rocket is they're looking to support other models off the Amazon platform. Something to think about. Uh, if you want to take a look at the Publisher Rocket, you can always take a look inside my affiliate link at selfpublishingwithdale.com slash rocket. Though you might have some of these keyword research tools on hand, one thing I would recommend is you get yourself back down to the fundamentals, the basics. You're going to want to understand Kindle keyword research and how to do it the right and proven method. So take a look. We're going to meet on over inside that video and I'm going to share a lot more details so you get a good understanding of how keywords function in the discovery of your book. I'll see you there. Wait, stop. Here we go. Bonus tip. What do you do with the keywords anyways? One. Find about seven to 12 good keywords.